Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video I decided to take a look at this game I bought on a whim during a summer sale on Steam known as Star Rangers. Now this game actually has mixed review and uh, in before this game sucks or this game is awesome, I just wanted to basically take a look at this from a perspective of someone who likes uh, space games and who basically likes to uh, try new games once in a while. This is one of such games and today you're going to find out if it's worth your purchase or not. Welcome to What The Math. And right off the bat, the answer to that question I just asked is no, it's not worth your purchase. And I'll explain to you why. Now, first of all, this is actually made, uh, I believe, by people from the um, University of Irvine in California but not very well. It's made with so many bugs that I am still having trouble finishing the tutorial even after playing this for several hours. I believe I have like uh, over nine hours uh, put into this game so far and the tutorial has still not been finished. On top of that, uh, here's why this game might not be worth your time. Oh, by the way, you get to create a character. Look at that. We can change the eyebrows and hair color. Yay! I can also change a flag, which is totally going to be India from Canada, because, you know, why not? Anyway, uh, oh yeah, so this is my new character I just created. I had to erase my old character because it bugged to the point where there was no return. Uh, so with this character, I've only played a little bit, and I was trying to finish the tutorial. I, I was actually hoping that, um, that, they, that they've actually improved it a little bit, that they changed it a little bit. I'm, I'll show you what it looks like, actually. Um, but they haven't. It's still is as buggy as it was. Now, also, on top of all of this, uh, well, first of all, you can create your own base here. You can actually start a sandbox level, which we'll do in a few minutes. Uh, you can also join other bases, but unfortunately, I don't think anyone is playing this game. Yeah, so about that. But uh, there is some other cool things, like test levels, uh, which we'll take a, take a look at. So, like, for example, this one is called Mars Orbit Docking. It's a shuriken in Mars orbit, so you have to like do some docking here. There's also Saturn orbit construction, uh, Mars race, and some other cool levels we'll take a look at. Uh, but first, let's just go into the tutorial, tutorial and find out why it sucks. Here we go. So you start on this beautiful planet, Tutoria. That's what I'm gonna call it. I don't know, actually know what it, if this is what it's called. There's whales and stuff, and you're basically right there. Uh, your job is to go and talk to people on this beautiful, somewhat beautiful island. Hey, this is the shark. Uh, and to discover how to play this game. Now, I've sort of discovered how to play it, but I'm still having trouble finishing the bloody thing, so I'm not going to show you everything. I'll just show you the cool parts. Uh, you have to collect these icons here just so you can actually um, basically know how to play. And um, yeah, and then you start climbing and crawling once in a while, but just ignore that. Just ignore that. This is what you do when there's the slopes in the game. Now, for the first few parts of the game, uh, or the tutorial, you actually get to learn how to basically construct vehicles, how to um, plant or harvest plants, and how to um, create various things. Because this is essentially a sandbox construction game with a bit of a space exploration added to it. Uh, but it is so badly buggy and so on and so forth that, unfortunately... Unfortunately, it is so, so, so irritating. Now, if you actually manage to survive these annoying tutorials and have enough patience to go through all of them, you will discover a few things here and there, uh, specifically, you know, how to build vehicles, how to drive vehicles, and you will get to drive your first buggy uh, around the island. And we're gonna do that right now by jumping into this machine, if we can actually somehow... There we go. No, 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 no. No, here, come on, come on. Oh, here we go, I have to click this apparently. Uh, drive, yay, room, room. All right, so the actual driving mechanics in this game are decent, they're actually pretty fun. It does feel like a buggy, and you basically have to go to your next location where you learn how to plant and harvest food. Now the thing is, I've actually even died on this tutorial island, and oh my god, how many bugs did I discover when I did? First, uh, a very common bug that I seem to um, notice is basically my character gets cloned. It becomes two characters and they basically kind of just run next to each other, which is really interesting. Uh, it happened to me a few times and it, at first I was like, wow, there's two of me. Wow. And then I was like, wow, why is there two of me? And then I was like, well, let's not play this anymore. Let's go and play something better. So that happened. Uh, so, if you're a developer watching this video and if you actually, you know, want to improve your game just a little bit, how about sacking the tutorial? Like, totally get rid of it. It's kind of not fun. 
As a matter of fact, it's the opposite of fun. It is frustrating and it requires you to kind of go through these tedious steps to just start the game, just start the campaign, which I still haven't even seen. Anyway, enough uh, renting. Let's go and plant some plants. And in case you didn't know, this is how you hold a buggy. Your hands have to be in this really unusual wing formation. All right, let's get off here and see if I can finally maybe sort of kind of... Oh, all right, sure, that worked. Uh, do the planting part. And actually, if you're patient enough, you might even be able to plant stuff, but the problem is that you have to click on a very, very, very specific part of this item, which I always miss, and yeah, I totally missed it again. And once you do it, you'll be able to uh, combine three items into one and uh, plant something. But you know what? I've been struggling with this for about, I don't know, 10 minutes now, and I'm still having trouble doing it. And if you're actually patient enough to find the right place to click on those silly little items, which actually took me close to about 20 minutes the first time I did it, you might be able to plant stuff. You might be actually able to see how plants grow in this game and how you'll be actually growing food. And you might also see these butterflies that are somewhere over here flying around me. Where? I don't see them. I see the shadow. Ha! Graphical bug. Anywho. So, long story short, this game is super, super buggy. And here is a buggy in this game. Pun. Enjoy the pun. Anyway, let's move on and let's actually go and finish this silly tutorial. Now, at the end of the tutorial, you'll get to actually build a, a rocket out of four parts and then launch it uh, basically using uh, spacebar. It's that simple. It's supposed to look cool, but you know what? It's kind of cheesy, but I love it. I love how cheesy this is. Anyway, so basically, yeah, you launch the rocket, you escape this planet, and then you go to Mars. And the cool thing is that the controls are actually manual, kind of, so you basically get to control the rocket yourself. And uh, then this happens. Because why not? But instead of struggling with the tutorial that I think uh, once again crashed on me, let's actually go into one of these levels. Uh, there's uh, seven of them, or six, I guess, I can't even count. Uh, and this one is called Europa Underwater. So I'm going to start this and show you what it's like uh, when you actually go into these uh, separate levels that have been created for this game. So, first one is Underwater Europa. So basically, this is us after we've colonized uh, Europa and we have a colony there. Uh, your vertical speed is 0 meters per second and 56 meters to the bottom. Um, I can, I guess, drive this little craft here, which is actually kind of cool. Here we go. And we're going to need to go to the surface of uh, whatever that is. Now, this is what the actual craft looks like. It's kind of cool. So basically, this is the submarine that we're thinking one day we'll be able to put um, on Europa and possibly explore its underwater uh, ocean. Or I guess under under ice ocean. It's something like 10 kilometers uh, underneath the ice shell. And this is essentially what this is supposed to portray. Now, the only problem is, of course, uh, that this is ultra, ultra, ultra super slow. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can maybe find something fun here to do, but uh, as much as they want to, they're trying to be realistic here. Uh, yeah, this is not particularly fun. Now I think I'm gonna try to approach the uh, one of the hydrothermal vents that I see here, and possibly get out and see what we can do there. So we're gonna need to go right there and uh, either possibly die or not die. Well, let's actually discover what's underneath all of this and what we actually have inside of this uh, beautiful vent thingy. And while I'm actually getting there, I kind of wanted to show you a few other features that this game kind of has uh, or promises to have. So there's things like missions uh, or I guess quests that you can try to complete. There's also a research here where you can basically um, do various resources using these research points uh, that you see on top but I have honestly still have not really figured out how it works and I have a feeling it's actually horribly bugged but here is the hydrothermal vent uh, it kind of looks uh, decent actually not too bad and I think I'm gonna try to exit the vehicle and swim around and possibly burn myself or not hey look at that this is kind of cool anyway so this is the uh, underwater uh, environment in, in Europa, or on Europa that is, and this is essentially what it looks like. I haven't really played this level very much, but it does look really cool, it does sort of feel really cool, and I think I might use this game in the future just to talk a little bit more about Europa, but the countdown means that I think I'm about to die. Three, two, 
Yep. Anyway, so that's Europa. Let's check out something else. And this particular level is called Saturn Orbit Construction, which sounds a lot cooler, and you actually start with a lot cooler looking suit as well. Uh, but you are essentially orbiting, um, I guess, next to the rings of Saturn. And there is your beautiful... Uh, looking base thing and you can also do that look at that I can dance in space because that's uh, Newtonian physics right no also <laughs> there's colorful bubbles coming out of my butt anywho here we go let's fly toward this thing or whatever that is actually I might want to change camera a little bit uh, and uh, let's see what we can do here so this is called an orbital B we can basically approach it uh, and get inside of it and this will allow us to construct various stuff so, um, obviously it also moves really, really fast. In this particular mission, you'll notice that there is actually um, a few targets for you to explore, and you also do that, which is apparently firing rockets or missiles. Um, and essentially, here you can attack and destroy things. Uh, so the red um, objects are... Oh, okay. And the red objects are enemies, and the yellow objects, I believe, are resources. So I think I'm headed toward the resource. Let's actually find out what this is. Uh, but uh, this is essentially a slightly more interesting level where there is a bit of more interaction. But still, very, very, very alpha feeling. There's definitely still not really a lot to do here. All right, so this looks like some sort of an asteroid. Let's actually fire a rocket at it. And boom! Asteroid impacted. Asteroid is intact. Okay, well, that's not cool. And instead, I'm going to try to actually light on this asteroid, so you get to feel what it might feel like orbiting around Saturn, standing on an asteroid. Right? Right. Here we go. Boom. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, this game definitely has its cool moments. Uh, there's definitely quite a lot of interesting levels, uh, but it's still very, 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 very buggy. But has beautiful skies and is actually very gorgeous. One thing I forgot to mention is that this game is not very well optimized. Uh, I'm running this on a pretty decent computer and still there is just so many slowdowns. So many slowdowns. So many slowdowns. Anyway, so that's uh, Saturn. Let's check out the one of the last levels here. And specifically, let's actually take a look at the surface of Mars. It's called Mars Race. We're gonna go and... Uh, well, I guess we're first gonna insert into Mars. And this is actually when my game has a tendency to crash. Uh, so we're gonna skip this sequence. Hopefully it won't crash our game. And it totally didn't. So here we go. This is the surface of Mars. Um, as realistic as it can be. Waiting for players to be ready. There's no one else here. Except for me. Which is why I am going to basically start. So yeah, as you may have guessed, this is actually a racing game. This is where uh, you get to race around Mars because Mars is a very, very boring place. And there's nothing to do here except for looking at rocks, poss possibly collecting dust. Oh, racing! Now, oh boy. Now, this is meant to be a multiplayer game. Um, but it clearly isn't. So, we're going to try to defeat these bots and possibly out, uh, overtake them using our awesome super buggy. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, I'm first. Take that, suckers. Eat my dust! Now, I think I actually missed one of the checkpoints, so new checkpoints don't uh, seem to appear for me. But, you know what? This is still fun. The driving in this game, like I said, is super, super fun. It's definitely interactive, it's definitely entertaining. And you can also do this! Yay! Go down the hill really, really fast. Uh, other than that, this game is still very early uh, in development, and... I don't really know how well it will be updated um, in the next few months or so, but even after four or five months of having this, it still feels really, really buggy. Now, all in all, I'm personally enjoying this. This was actually really cheap on a summer sale, and I got this uh, for, you know, for like a few bucks, but uh, it might not be a game for you. I'm enjoying this mostly because it lets you play on Mars, it lets you play on um, Saturn, Europa, and so on. And there will be adding more new levels as well. And there's going to be a lot of new additions in the future. But as of now, this is a very, very buggy, very, very messy, but somewhat entertaining game. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. And that's essentially it. Thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you still haven't. Share this game or share this video with someone who might enjoy space games. And consider supporting this channel on Patreon. Also, like this game. No, don't like this game. Like this video if you enjoyed uh, watching me doing the review. And I'm going to do a lot more of space reviews in the near future because I actually just bought a bunch of new space games that I want to take a look at. I'll see you guys in the next video. Game you later. And as always...
Bye bye. And let's just do donuts like a boss. Space donuts. Mars donuts. Look at that. Awesome. <laughs>